we're, we're going to start the uh, start the uh, modification for uh, RTFA site plan review for 67 Bay State Road. Um, and this involves a subsidiary structure to the main house. Um, we've given us about 15 minutes for uh, presentation and comments. I think we can probably do it in one time. It's pretty small scale. So why don't, uh, are you going to start, Joey? Okay, go ahead and start. Joey Fonseca, Metro West Engineering. Uh, 67 Bay State Road, it's about this 1.46 acre site. As mentioned, it was under a previous RGFA approval for an addition to the rear completed two years ago. Proposal um, today is for a detached garage, um, shown here in pink. Um, located in the rear portion of the yard, there's an existing gravel plate area in the back of the following place. Place the um, garage structure within that area, it's already disturbed. Uh, there's no um, tree removal, there's actually just going to be one tree that will be removed. It's presently diseased um, on the north side of the barn. Uh, per the site block, one of the concerns was a six inch red oak in the rear um, that was south of the garage and trying to push that structure away from it out of the tree canopy to save that tree. We've done that and orientated it. We're close to the setback, uh, but we're able to stay out of the um, uh, sort of the canopy of that uh, red oak to save that. Um, managed to place a, this driveway is going to be like a rice stone or a pea stone type driveway that leads back here. This will be a tough track um, grass system in the front here, so there's no pervious material on the site. Um, it's really just for lawn equipment to, to have access to the garage. Um, Previous plan had a uh, white birch that was going to be removed. So we don't need to remove that, so we're saving that tree. Um, and part of the site lot, uh, we could see a, a fairly uh, decent gap in the landscaping uh, with used to that white property. So we've proposed three uh, 14 to 16 foot white spruces to kind of fill that uh, gap in throughout there. There's some existing white spruce here that I think will be back in, uh, sort of blended in along with that landscape. There'll be stormwater uh, installed for uh, the, the proposed roof area. The square footage of, the, of that garage is 876 square feet. Uh, so the, the stormwater uh, will handle, uh, will store uh, and handle up to the winter year storm that, for that roof, roof area. Uh, and the existing shed that's uh, from looking at the Lights, which are dark, dark and light. They're actually built into the soffit there. Um, I believe they're uh, 19 watt LED fixtures that are down lights with the lens on them, so they won't cast any light off on the site. And what does that bring you up to total? That brings us up to a total of 19,513 lumens, so we're 2,400 change under the max. Okay. 
Um, any questions, comments? It's unfinished. I mean, it's just we have a second floor because it would look kind of silly not to have a roof with the right proportion to match the house. So it's an unfinished storage space. It will never be any. It will never be a residence or anything like that. No accessory apartment. I don't think it's structurally made. How many beams up there? Do you feel like? Well, we have collar ties, um, and then, you know we have a floor, but. If you look at the actual area, when you calculate the knee wall space, there isn't that much full height space up there because the roof does slope down to the level, to the, to the level of the floor completely. But the addition is 1,800 square feet? Well, the, as, as Joey said, the footprint is 856 square feet times two. And that's using the planning board calculations. The real net area is actually much less than that because if you look at the second floor and you imagine a prototypical knee wall of five feet, we're losing, you know, almost half of the first floor area. So there isn't that much usable space. It's not truly a two-story building. It's a one-and-a-half-story building. Is there a stair up to it? Yes, there is a stair. There's a stair up to it. Yeah. Any other questions? Are you the neighbor, yes. the one that looks down the hill? Yes. You're the only neighbor that sees this. That's right. We're the only one who will be affected by it. And I, I, Mike is here, I mean, and and he's expressed a willingness to go beyond whatever the you know the planning board minimum stipulations for screening. So if you felt, you know, we're we're showing three screening trees in the direction between your house and, and this structure, mm -hmm. and if you felt that more was necessary after the structure is up, I'm sure Mike would work with you to mitigate any concerns that you had. What was the height on the trees? It was about 14 to 16. If you have to look at a building, it's a fairly attractive <laughs> building to look at. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> anyone? I'm just, I'm just struck by the amount of glass in, in this garage. I mean, uh, it, this is more of an aesthetic thing from the outside. Of well, it is. I mean, we, 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 look, we actually looked at options that had fewer openings, but then it really looks quite silly to have a big blank wall that just shingles. And is electric being delivered but not water to this area? No. No water, no gas, just electricity. Yeah. And, the, and the drive, is, as Joey mentioned, the drive is just to leave some rice stone set in the grass, and then there's a structured grass apron in front of it. And the previous use is pretty small. This is really for storing a gator and perhaps uh, you know other kinds of yard storage. So any interest in moving things along since we're only a good okay. comments from our consultants? No comments, everything all right? Yeah. He asked them to move it the sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So now I can move everything along. So I um, <laughs> would like to move that we approve this modification to the RGFA site plan review. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.